Okay, so there's a subject everyone's talking about, and we hear about it every day, and yes, it's AI, artificial intelligence. Well, the code editor in Windows, WebDev, and Windows Mobile features generative AI, and it will soon become an absolutely essential tool in your arsenal. Now, just so that we are clear, this AI was developed by PCSoft. It is fully integrated into the code editor and runs on servers managed by PCSoft. It's really easy to enable generative AI in your code editor. Simply go to the code editor options, AI tab, and click enable. Let's confirm. And now that we have enabled AI, let's dive into our example. So here I'm in an ERP project. I've created a window to display sales statistics, and I've already written the query that I'm going to use. So let's go to the code editor. So in the code of the find button, I'm going to write what I want to do as a comment. So I'm going to type execute query turnover customers. Very good. And this is an important aspect of generative AI. The clearer the comments you write, the better the results. So I'm going to specify the parameters of the query. So I'll use start date equals edit start date, my edit control. And then Windows Generative AI suggests the rest of the parameters. So just look at that. I have, ha I have the end date, I have the minimum turnover, and I have the execution of the query. So that looks great to me. I can simply press tab to accept the suggestion. Now, if you're not happy with the suggestion, you can simply keep typing or press escape. You can also request a new suggestion with Control Shift Tab. Now here I'm going to edit the code because I don't want the minimum turnover to be zero, but to use the edit control. So I'll use edit min turnover. Now uh, I want to populate the table control. So let's set the position after each execute query. Now I have this for each suggestion. That's exactly what I need. So I can simply press tab to accept. I want to continue using AI, so I'll enter another comment. Let's go populate table control. Okay, so let's not forget that to obtain the best AI results, we need a clear context and clear comments. Very good. So now AI suggests using the table add line function. It uses the query we just executed and assigns the values from the columns in the query to the columns in the table control. And there you have it. An example of the power of AI in version 2025. The advantage of generative AI in the code editor is that it generates code for you and that saves you time. So let's look at another example. In this window, I want to recalculate the loyalty account statistics for each customer. As this operation may take some time, I'm going to use a progress bar. So I'll write the following comment. Mm, iterate over customers and refresh progress bar. So what does AI suggest? Okay, so it's a suggestion, but it's not exactly what I need. Let's request another suggestion. So I'll press Control, Shift, and Tap. All right, so now we have a for each loop, which is much better, so I'll accept it. Uh, the upper bound of the progress bar is not defined by count, by, with, and be rec, and that's because we cannot use count on a table control. Now, we can simply add the call to the calculate customer statistics procedures to the loop. Okay, so here we have another example of how AI help us program. Now let's look in a, at, a, at another example. AI also comes in handy when you're not exactly sure about which function to use. Like in this procedure, I need to increase the color lightness by 25%. So what functions should I use? Well, let's get some AI powered help. I'll enter a simple yet clear comment. So I'll type increase and in color lightness by 25%. So AI suggests the following code. Okay, so AI suggests the following code and color, HSL, color saturation, color lightness, and return color, which looks great. That's really accurate. So I'll just accept the suggestion. Uh, I'm simply going to replace plus 25 with times 1.25. And there we go. In version 2025, AI code suggestions in the code editor save you an incredible amount of time. You need to use a function you're not familiar with, AI can help. 
You need to repeat a code pattern several times. Let AI do it for you. In all cases, the code editor's built-in generative artificial intelligence suggests, and all you have to do is accept.